Hello and welcome to Lake Erie and right now I'm at Long Point which is just about 20 kilometers away from Port Dover and most importantly Nanticoke which is just to the uh, east of Port Dover and that's where I'm going to be taking you very very shortly to check out one of the ships which has just arrived in Nanticoke so we're going to try and chase it down get a nice shot of it and uh, take it from there so I'm going to take you with me across the water to Nanticoke Erie County Lakeshore this afternoon partly settled with a 20% chance of showers Near steady temperature in the mid 50s. Right, can anyone tell me? I know Mark's filming it. I see a lot of these on my map every now and then. Uh, but this marker is called 65Q4. Uh, is it just a channel mark? It's not a channel mark because it's, it's black. Is it a buoy? Is it uh, something to do with fishing? Is it something to do with uh, measuring the, the wave heights? I have no idea. Um, but anyway, it's here. Shit, folks. Oh, we're at Nanticoke. Uh, behind me is the steelworks, the Stelco. Uh, unfortunately, there's no ship there right now. But over here, we have two ships at the refinery. Uh, I think it's Esso. I'll have to check it later on. Uh, but we've got two ships in here, so we're going to see if we can get close to them and have a look around. So, uh, just there. So let's go have a little butchers. So behind me is the pier that would use for um, the ships going in to uh, the steel place. And unfortunately one left this morning so we missed it. But we do have two ships in here. I'll tell you what, it's a rough ride over here. It's pretty calm here compared to what we've just been through. folks two for the price of one uh both salties this is a really nice looking vessel this first one rossier des janes des janes algatera on the other side. We got the boom out, I guess, to contain any spillage that may happen. That's a nice looking vessel. This one's neat, it's got the old name still, and you can see it. Louise Nutson. So that one's sitting at 4.2 um, in the water, and this one looks like right on seven. That one's on seven meters. But behind me is a refinery, so it's a chemical and oil. I believe it's Esso um, that has the refinery down here. And this one, which is sitting in the sun a little bit better, I'd like to know what is history of that one, Louise uh, Nutson. The Algaterra is a crude oil tanker that was built in 2010 at the Jiangnang Shipyard Group in Shanghai, China. She was initially named Louise Nutson and sailed under the British flag. The Algoma Central Corporation took possession of the vessel in April the 1st of 2019, making it the newest tanker in their fleet. The length of the vessel is 144 meters with a beam of 23 meters. And the dead weight tonnage of this vessel is 16,512 tons. This is Rossi A. de Gagne. She was built at the Besikatus shipyard, which is located near Istanbul in Turkey, and was delivered early in 2019 to the Canadian company. Her overall length of the ship is 135 meters, and she has a beam of 23.5 meters.
gas and heat. I didn't see any signs about not trespassing, so that's why I'm down here, all right? There's no signs at the entrance. And if I'm in the wrong place, my apologies, I'll be out of here very shortly. Algaterra, Halifax. Right, we'll take a quick look at the nose. And then we'll have to make our way back before the weather gets worse. Oh, that's better. At least this salty has its anchor. It's very wide, look at that. That is a cool shot. All right, there you have it, folks. A couple of ships. We hope you enjoyed that short video. I just had to put into Nantico. It's a shame there isn't a ship over at the steel factory uh, at Selco there. That would have been phenomenal. Uh, there was one there last night, but it left this morning, and I wasn't here in time for that. It would have been nice to catch that. But what we'll do, seeing as we didn't use a full 10 minutes of the video up, well, I'll just take you down to the, uh, the steel plant so you can see the, uh, the dock there where the ship probably would go, and uh, we can have a look at that. So it's just around the corner, like five kilometers down the road, so let's go. Did I say five kilometers? It's just there. <laughs> it's like a kilometer away. <laughs> I thought it was further. <laughs> but by road it seems further because I have to drive past it. Oh. God, it's choppy out here. Yeah. So this is Nanticoke Stelco, Stelco Steel Plant. Now, what I worked out just by accident, uh, I came in a different way today uh, in the car and it took me on this road and I went over this bridge and as I looked, it looked like a roller coaster. And it's way, way down there. I don't know if my zooming will work that far, but it looks like a roller coaster. If not, I'll show, I'll, I'll show on the way home. Uh, but basically a ship will come in here with its coal or iron pellet, iron ore, and it would uh, come here, and it's, I guess it has to be a, it's going to have to be a self uh, discharger here because there's nothing to pick it up with. So basically, it will uh, place all the coal, and it'll probably go into that, that hopper or the chute, whatever you want to call it up there. It'll get disposed onto the conveyor belt, and the conveyor belt will then run it all the way along here, all the way down there, all the way over there. So I don't know, that's quite far. It could be a couple of kilometers of track here, all I know. But that's quite a long way to go. So definitely going to come back here again and check this out on a nicer day, get the drone up, and hopefully have a good couple of ships here to choose a good day. Anyway, my name is Nigel. You've been watching uh, one of my ships. Whoa, that's a big one. Look at these. Whoa, that's quite big. <laughs> All right, let's get out of that bit. That was quite big. <laughs> All right, we've got to get out of here. All right, earlier on, I told you about the thing that looked like a roller coaster. Well, earlier on, we were way down there. Check this out. Pretty cool, eh? Thought I'd show you that.